Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to upload files to Firebase Storage and download the uploaded file. So this is a demo of the app that we are going to build where we will have a drop down to select the type of the file. And you can select image, audio, video or any other type of file. Clicking on the button will open the file explorer and when the user selects a file, it will be uploaded to the Firebase console. All right. So you can select multiple files as well. Then all files will be uploaded at once. So you can see the progress as well. Once it is uploaded, you can download and see the uploaded image. All right. So let's start. For this example, and to keep it simple, I'm not doing any Google sign in. So everything will be public. Let me show my Firebase console first. So this is my console. Go to storage and rules. So I have set it to allow read and write. So anyone can upload and download. Okay. For this example, we need three plugins. The first one is HTTP plugin. Second one is a file picker plugin to select files from the file explorer. And third one is a Firebase storage, which will help us to upload and download files from Firebase console. Okay. Now let me quickly import the needed files. Now let's declare some variables. The first one is the path. So that's the path when we select a single file and the path is needed when we select multiple files and an extension a file type and a boolean to check if it is a multiple file pick or not. Then we need a global key. Scaffold key. Okay. And a list of storage upload task to store each task in the list. Okay. Now let me quickly show the file picker plugin documentation where you need to add the external storage permission for Android and a bunch of other stuff for iOS. So I'll be providing the link in the description. You can read through it. Here we will be doing only in Android. Okay. So let me go to the Android manifest file. So I have already added the permissions. Now let's create the drop down to select a file type. So value will be big file type. And let's add audio, image, video, and any. When the user selects a value from the drop down list, we are going to set the value of the big file type to that value. Okay, so let me add the drop down to the UI in the build method. Okay, so let's restart that. So you can see the drop down now. I'm going to supply the key for the scaffold. After that, I'm going to add a switch list style, which is a switch button with text, pick multiple files. So when it is selected, you can select multiple files from the file explorer. And when it is changed, I'm going to set the Boolean value to multi-pick variable. And I'm going to add a outline button, which will say open file explorer. And on click of the button, I'm going to call a method open file explorer. So let's write the method. So this will be an asynchronous method and a try catch to catch the exception when we open the file explorer if something happens. For example, if we have not provided the storage permission, then 
it will throw an error all right so the path is equal to null and if it is multi pick i'm going to assign paths is equal to await file picker dot get multi file path and i'm going to pass the type and the file extension okay all right now on the else part i'm going to assign path is equal to wait file picker dot get file path pass in the type and the extension okay and if the disk is not mounted we will return okay now let's write a new method upload to firebase and i'm going to check if it is a, if it is multi file pick i'm going to loop through paths so paths dot for each the first parameter is a file name and second parameter is the file path so inside that we are going to write a new method upload let's pass in the file name and the file path okay i'm going to assign the extension so extension is equal to file name dot to string i'm going to split it with dot and get the last string okay so that's our extension now let's create a storage reference and call firebase stored instance dot ref dot child and pass in the file name now create one more variable storage upload task and call storage reference dot put file with the file path and let's send some metadata as well so set the content type to pick file type pick type slash the extension all right and let's add the task to the task array okay and if it is not a multi select go to else part uh, string file name is equal to path dot split with slash and get the last string and the file path is the path and call the upload method with the file name and the file path okay now let's run the app and see okay there is some error so i forgot to set the value for the switch okay restart the app so we can see the widgets now now let's go to the open file explorer method and call the upload to file base method when the file is selected okay restart the app i'm going to open the file explorer select an image so you can see that it is a success let's see that so it's a, it's been uploaded so let me download it so that's a file we selected now let's create one more class to show the status of the uploads in a list view so this will be the row for that list so pass in the task and two functions on dismissed and on download so let's create the variables okay so let's create the variables first one is the task so storage upload task and second one is a method so void callback on dismissed and third one is also a method void callback on download now let's write the fill method so it is going to return a stream builder of type storage task event okay and stream will be task.events so this will be listening to the firebase events 
and the builder will have the build context and the async snapshot of type storage task event okay and we are going to check let's declare a widget first so subtitle and let's check if the snapshot dot has data then we are going to get the event from the snapshot and the snapshot storage task snapshot from the event so let's write a function to get the bytes transferred with the parameter storage task snapshot okay then return snapshot dot bytes transferred by snapshot dot total bytes count okay okay and assign the subtitle to a new text and call bytes transfer and on the else part I'm going to say subtitle is equal to constant text let's say starting okay now return the dismissible widget and the first parameter is the key let's set that to key task dot hash code dot to string and the second parameter is on dismissed i'm going to pass the on dismiss method and the child will be a list style with a title with a new text it's going to say upload task and with the task dot hash code and the subtitle will be the assigned subtitle and the trailing will be a new row with the main axis size minimum and the children the first one is an off stage widget with the off stage value if it is not in progress and the child will be an icon button with the icon let's say if it is not in progress then set it to pass and on press of the button we're going to call task dot pass and let's add one more off stage widget and change the off stage to task dot is passed so if it is passed let's resume it so change the icon to file upload and change that to resume and add it one more I'm going to check if it is not complete then set it to cancel and call task.cancel let's add one more the icon will be file download and we're going to call the on download method here okay now let's write a method to get the status of each upload as a string so get status so declare a variable string or result and then i'm going to check if the task dot is complete and inside that one more check if the task is successful we're going to assign result to complete else uh, we're going to check if the task dot is cancelled we're going to say result is equal to cancelled and then else the result is equal to failed let's show the error so failed error 
with the task dot uh, last snapshot dot error okay else if it is in progress we are going to say result is equal to uploading else we are going to check if the task is passed then we are going to say result is equal to passed and return the result okay let's go back to the builder and add the status there okay now let's create the list view to show the upload status of each task so children is equal to a widget array and i'm going to loop through the task task dot for each and the parameter is a storage up to task declare a widget tile and i'm going to make the constructor parameter optional so upload task list tile with a task and two methods on dismissed when it is dismissed we are going to remove the task from the list and on download we're going to call a new method download file with the storage reference okay task dot last snapshot dot reference okay so let's write the method download file the parameter is the storage reference okay now let me add the children to the ui Just add some spacing with a height of 20 and a flexible widget with a child a list view and this view children is the variable children okay I missed one thing I forgot to add the widget to the children array so let's add that children dot add child okay restart the app okay select an image okay so it's showing but there is some issue there it's completely uploaded but still it's showing the wrong icon let me see that okay let me add the off stage to the download button so if it is not task is complete and task dot is successful we're going to show the download button okay we we'll try that okay now the download button is showing but we need to check the other one okay try again okay okay perfect all right now let's go ahead and write the download file method to download the uploaded file okay so final string url is equal to now wait reference dot get download url okay and final ctp dot response download data is equal to await http dot get with a url and let's create a temporary directory so system temp and final file temporary file is equal to file system temporary directory dot let me copy and paste it dot path slash let's create a temporary file for the image but you can 
uh, change it according to the file type. Now let's check if the file is existing or not. So temp file dot exist sync. If it is existing, we will delete the file and create another file. Await temp file dot create. Okay. Then storage file download task is equal to reference dot write a file and pass in our temporary file. Okay, so the downloaded file will be returned to that temporary file. Now let's get the byte count and the body bytes. Okay, get the name as well. So wait, reference dot get name. Let's get the path as well. Await reference dot get path. Okay. Now we will print all those variables. So success downloaded with the name, URL, and path. And then we need the bytes count. Let's display the image. For that, we will create a snack bar. So, scaffold key dot color state dot show snack bar. So, we will be showing the image in a snack bar with the background color white and the content image dot memory with the body bytes and fit box fit dot fill. Okay. Let's run the app. Select an image. Okay, let's download that. So you can see the image now. Let's pick multiple images. Okay, all are uploaded now. Let's go back to our Firebase console. Okay, all images are uploaded now. Let me download one. Okay, so that's our image. So here we can download all images. Okay. So in the console, you can see the information about the downloaded image. Okay. All right. So that's all in this video. So this was a simple example of how to use highway storage for uploading and downloading files. So you can upload any type of file. Uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Also, please leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.